Hey everyone, so today is a long day. <laughs> um, I'm wearing like, because I wore my cat costume to work today, because I'll get to that in a minute, but um, this is like my little cat makeup. I don't know how well you can really see it in this lighting. Um, I'll insert a picture or something, or if you want to see it, like you can go to my Instagram, which is at Marissa Monroe, same way it's spelled here with the two R's and everything. So go to that, but um, anyways, I wore it to work today, and I have yesterday too, because Kmart is doing this thing, well they were doing this thing, it was like Friday and Saturday, where it was, um, I feel like my camera's crooked, maybe, is that better, I don't know, where it was 50% um, off all their costumes, so my HR called me and was like, hey, um, we're doing this thing, and you can get a free costume and like wear it just grab one off the shelves and wear it to work for two days and just hand out these flyers. So, yeah. This was originally $40, but like I said, um, my HR gave it to me for free as, like, a promotional thing at work. So, it's got these, like, little poofy sleeves, and, um, I'll also insert a picture of me in that. So... It's just, like, really cute, and I like it a lot. It's soft. It's comfortable to wear, actually, because I've worn it for, like, ten hours for the past two days. And it comes with a little tail. And then, um, I'm trying to find my cat ears. I'll find them in a minute. But these are the ears it comes with. But, um, let me see. They kind of look like little bunny rabbit ears. Like, do you see what I mean? They don't really look like kitty cat ears. Like, the way they're shaped, they look bunny -ish. My cat ears over here somewhere, and I'm sure I will find them momentarily. Aha! Uh -huh. So I own these. I got these last year just like for kind of like novelty purposes. I thought they were cute, and they were like four dollars. So they're like little furry, and they have pink ears. So I wore those with my costume today, and as you can see, those look a little bit more kitty catish, and I like them. So um. Yeah, I like that. And then I had these little moccasins I got from Charlotte Rose for like 15 bucks, really cheap. Um, I got them last year though, so I don't know if they still have them. They were just like little cheetah print moccasins, and it was really cute. And then the next thing I'm going to show you, I got over a month ago almost, but I haven't shown it in a haul, and it's so cute, so I want to. I got it at Hot Topic, I think it was like $15 or something. I took the tag off. But it's this little like bralette, and I was kind of unsure if it would fit me because it's a 38D, and usually I wear double Ds. But if you go up, like, a waist size, because usually I'm, like, a 36 double D, but if you go up a waist size, then, like, it's almost the equivalent of going to a cup size. So it just kind of fits like that. Um, it's really cute, and I didn't really know what to wear it with, so I kind of wore it with um, my muscle tanks, and I loved how it looked with those. So this is really cute, and um, kind of got it when summer was almost over, so not really wearing it with too many muscle tanks right now. But... I think this will be super cute to layer next summer, and I like it. I got these. There is a new place that opened up, um, like a little outside of my town, and it's called a Burke's Outlet. I've never been to one or seen one before, but I got these earrings there. They didn't say where they originally came from. Those are just these big, like, huge earrings. I love these. They're so cute. And these were $3.99. Like, can you believe that? They said they were originally $12, wherever it was they came from, so I think $3.99 was a really good deal for these. <laughs> and the next thing I got from Burke's Outlet is this, um, For Everybody Pumpkin Patch Candle, and it's so cute. Like, it has, like, little sprinkles on the top. I haven't burned it yet because I wanted to show it, but it just smells like cinnamon and pumpkin. I was probably talking into that. You probably couldn't hear me. It smells like cinnamon and pumpkin and fall, and it just... Oh, so good. Oh my god, I got these at the dollar store. They were a dollar. Um, there's these glow in the dark skeletons. I've already used like two or three of them. But, um, you can just like string these or hang these wherever. And these are really cute to like string with just some thread that you have laying around your house. And like hang around your door and stuff. And it's so cute. And what I like to do with these is get like little earring thingies and turn these into earrings. Like, I really, really like wearing these earrings. I just think they're so cute. And they glow in the dark, so lots of fun for parties and stuff. Like, if you go to a Halloween party, these would be fun to wear as earrings there. So, for a dollar, you get a pack of... It doesn't say. There's one. These are, um, earrings. That's a difficult word to remember. 
these are so cute so if i'm like looking away i'm like looking into my mirror to make sure i'm like in frame and showing everything right i should really learn to look at the camera more but um i got these at the store in my mall and they're called 579 sorry if my phone keeps dinging me and my friend are having like a serious conversation so i kind of pause the video whenever he texts me back so we can like continue on but um I got these at 579 in my mall. I've never really got anything there before just because I'm not a big fan of their clothing or accessories or anything. It's just a little too gaudy for my taste personally. But I fell in love with these. They are so cute. They are a little heavy so after four or five hours I kind of wanted to take them out which I was home after four or five hours so it wasn't a big deal. But I think these are just so cute and I love these and they've got like a little lightning bolt up here. They've got a lightning bolt down here. So it's like two lightning bolts, three or four chains, and this ball is just gorgeous and reflects all sorts of different colors like yellows, purples, pinks, greens, oranges. So I think these are just really versatile and you can wear these with a lot of things. And I love these earrings. They are so cute. Definitely one of my favorites right now. Oh, and these were like $3.50. I mean, why am I getting such cheap earrings? Like, these are amazing steals. Like, I don't even understand. Like, can I say like anymore? Like, 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 like 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 all right so the next thing i got i picked up um i saw this in my rite aid which i'd never seen them before but i kind of went and looked for them just to see i got the um just like i guess plain or original flavor in my naturals box box and this is the uh i can't read that in my camera got on. oh it's honey berry so i kind of thought you know it might be a little sweet tastes good it smells okay but the taste of this is like really horrible it looks the same i don't know i'm showing you because you can taste it but you apply it and then like if you like rub your lips together or something it'll kind of get in your mouth and it just it's disgusting it moisturizes nicely and everything but it's really disgusting um i'm probably gonna try and use it up if i can because it it's very moisturizing i love this lip balm still but it just uh, i hate the taste i hate it so much was this, like, thing attractive? Should I just... Thumbnail! Oh my god, I really want to make that my thumbnail. Screenshot! The next thing I have here are these, um, Skylark. They're, like, the first thing from Ellen Blair's line. And they are the Sophia and Ava lip glosses. I got these really just for, I think it's the Ava one. Maybe if I can get them out. Yeah, I got it for the Ava one because I love this pink. And I do. It's really gorgeous. Um... They're a little bit hard to blend, but they they have a very similar texture to the MAC Pro Longwear lip glosses. But um, I do, I love this pink. It's really gorgeous. It's probably my new favorite pink lip gloss, I'd say. I love it. And then the Sophia one, I've actually just been applying, like, to kind of go. Because it's, like, my lip color, but better almost. Because I have really, like, these are my natural lips. This I have a very dark natural lip color, so... like a really glossy like more of a berryish version of my lip color like it definitely intensifies it but it really is like a better glossy version of my lips so I ended up liking both of these a lot and I actually haven't worn the pink out yet but I have been carrying um the Sophia one around with me so but I like them both they're very nice and they have very good staying power so that's always a plus and staying on the lip topic I got two of these covergirl lipsticks um because I had a coupon where it was like buy two, get two dollars off, and they're like $6.99 each, so not too bad for lipsticks. And um, these are the Outlast ones, I think, but they stay on amazing. And this one is in Divine Divine, and it's just a gorgeous purple color. Like, I really, really like this color. It's so pretty. I haven't decided where I'm going to wear it yet, but I like it, so I thought, you know, I have a coupon. Might as well pick it up. And this. This is my new staple lip color. I've been wearing this all day, every day, everywhere. Love this color so much. Like, the fact that I didn't put it on before this video amazes me. This is in Euphoria. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just, it's a really deep burgundy shade. Like, it's got more of a red tone to it. But it's definitely a burgundy. It's just, it's beautiful. It looks so great on your lips. I just... I love it. Like, the thing I got are all NYX products, and these are actually, like, some of the first NYX products I've tried outside of their round case lipsticks, 
which are actually the only NYX products I have because it was just like in the past month or two that I got an Ulta near me and it's still not near me near me. It's like a half hour away from me. So yeah. Um, but today I went in there and I got two of their eyeshadows and these are $4.99 each. So pretty good deals on those and it is in um, Autumn Sky. I just thought this was a really lovely like bluish minty kind of color and these are really really soft like velvety kind of textures. I don't even know how well you can see that but it's just like yeah, like, you can barely see that. It's just, like, a really light, shimmery, kind of, like, tealish, minty blue. It's not teal at all. Like, minty kind of blue. I like it. I'm going to get a makeup wipey because I just feel gross with little swatchy swatchies on my hands. So, we're just going to have a little makeup wipey with us for the rest of the, um, swatchy swatchy part. Yeah, this lipstick doesn't come off. So, I shouldn't have swatched that. should have just put it on my lips, please. Why am I saying everything with this piece? I don't know what my hedgehog is doing. This one, I love this one. This is the very first one I picked out, and this is Rust. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, that's what it looks like in the pan. And it's like a cinnamon rust brown red. It's just, it's so pretty. And I think this is going to be really nice to, like, blend with through your crease and put in, like, your outer corner just to kind of deepen it and give it, like, a little bit of a fall kick, I guess. But I think it's just going to be a really lovely color for fall and winter and just this time of year. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. And this I wore all day today and I want more of these. I'm addicted. This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love matte lip glosses. This is so easily applied. And I don't know where I was going with that. So easily. It applies real nicely. But that's it right there. It's just a very light pretty baby doll pink. These have great coverage. They dry really fast. They stay on really well. And they're definitely matte. And I love that because I love matte lipsticks. And this is the color that I was wearing on my nails. It's a China Glaze color I picked up at Sally's like a few months ago. I don't know why I never really liked it, but I didn't. So I returned it. And then I went back in there like two weeks ago. And I saw it sitting again. It was like kind of, um, and, like, one of their little displays where it's, like, everything just gets stuck whenever their little collections have left them behind. And this is Call of the Wild. Okay, so I've been talking, like, way too much. My battery's almost dead and my camera memory card is almost full. But I got these from Walmart. These were, like, 49 cents each. And they were really ugly when I got them. But I used the Martha Stewart Rose Gold Glitter and then just some nail varnishes. And I just painted them and made them all cute. And I'm very happy with how they turned out. And then I'm going to, like, glue um, some of the little ornament hooks to them so that I can use them on my little Christmas tree, which I will film a video setting up and show you guys how I do it. So I will make that video in December. And the next thing I got, I got icing. And I got this for my cousin. Um, it was originally $8.50, and it was on sale half off for $4.25. So that was a good deal. And it says, keep calm and drink margaritas. How freaking cute. So, love this. Um, anyways, next thing I got, I got these at Target. I got a little fedora. How cute is this? It's got a little leopard print band. Um, I already took the tag off of it. But, anyways, this was originally $13. I got it for 6 So, good deal on this. And I love it. Next thing I got, I got in the dollar section. I saw this right when I first walked in a few days ago. It's a little pumpkin hat. The thing I got from Target was this little, like, card. And it's a candy corn and it says, Bite Me on it. Because, um, I don't know how many of you know this or how many of you just have stumbled upon my channel. My boyfriend is in the Army. He's in basic training right now. So, he has a very small world and he's definitely not celebrating Halloween. So, on the front it just says, Bite Me. And then on the inside it said, Set the candy corn just before he met his end. Hope your Halloween's to die for. And, I don't know, it just reminds me of something that he would, like, kind of think is funny and cute. So... I am going to send him this in a little orange envelope for Halloween. And like I just said, my boyfriend is at basic, so the only thing we can do right now is write letters. And I saw this little notebook. Um, it was like two dollars, but it's got a little kitty on it. And look, he has a bow tie and glasses. And he's just a little kitty, and he's so cute. I love cats. So isn't this just adorable? And um, I don't know what rule this is. College rule. I don't think it really matters. I'm just gonna write in here and just fill it up with little letters. Oh, look, a little pocket. So I can, like, after I write my letters, like, store them in here. Oh, I like this. 
I'm gonna go write some now. No, just kidding. I'm gonna finish this video before my camera dies. And the very last thing I got from Target was this dress. It was originally $24.99. I got it for $7.49. It is a size small, and it smushes my boobs down a little bit, but it fits me, like, in the waist and everything, so I'll just kind of have them up, oop, have them, like, up a little bit, I guess. Just, so, maybe they won't be smushed as much. But look how cute. It's got, like, this little, like, sheer paneling that kind of has, like, polka dots on it up at the top. And then it's just polka dotted, and it's just so cute. It's a little spaghetti strap. And I thought this would be cute even for winter to, like, wear with a cardigan or something. Like, with a little red cardigan, how cute would this be? I just felt, like, completely in love with this dress. And it's just too cute. I couldn't pass it up for, I mean, like, yeah, $8, basically. Who could pass that up? So cute. I just, I loved it. And it was, like, really kind of vintage-y looking. So... Um, a lot of these I've already ripped the tags off so I could wash them. And this is one of them. And it's like this blush colored top. I got it so it can be a little loose, but I think I'm going to have to exchange it. I got a size large. Oh no, I got a size 10. I don't, I didn't know. That's like my pants size, so I figured it'd be my dress shirt size too. But it's a little too baggy around my waist. So it's just in this blush color and... As you can see, I haven't made it all the way to the wash yet. It's just kind of been in my laundry stack. It's a high-low top, but as you can see, it's, like, kind of really big. And this was $13.80. So, really, really inexpensive. And I love this. It's super soft. Um, I'm going to play with it a little bit and maybe belt it and stuff and see whether or not I need to exchange it for a smaller size or if maybe, like, a little bit of a baggier look could work. But I don't know. We will play around with that. And this next thing I got is a little, like, blazer, and it comes to, like, right here. It doesn't go all the way down to your hips, but it's just, it's so cute, and it's really structured, and I love it. And this was $34.80, so not too bad. Usually blazers are, like, 70 or 80 bucks. So, it's really nice. got, like, a little satin on the inside, and it's pretty thick, so it'll be warm. Cute little structured color, and it just looks like this tights that I got. These are burgundy and I'm actually, I actually got these to wear with my graduation outfit. Well, not my graduation outfit, but the outfit I'm wearing to my boyfriend's graduation. Um, I think I'm going to do an outfit of the day on that because I was kind of, like, unsure of what to wear to a military graduation because, of course, you're going to be around his family and everything, which I love his family. I'm around his family constantly. I, like, live over there. It's my second home. But, um, thought process. Oh yeah. So, of course you're going to want to be a little more conservative. It's the first time you're seeing your boyfriend in three months. You're still going to want to be a little sexy. So, I got this like lace kind of corsety style dress and it's in a cream color from American Eagle. It was too big. I ordered a size large. So, I sent it back and ordered a size medium and hopefully that will fit me better. Um, I just got these burgundy tights to go under because I've been really in love with burgundy. These were like 380 or 480 or something. Really inexpensive. Um, but super cute, and I love these, love these, so excited to wear that, and I'm still looking for a leather bomber jacket to match my boots to wear with the dress, because it's going to be in November, so it'll be cold, so still looking for that, but I'll find it, and this next thing is like a mustard yellow cardigan, I actually wore this today, it is so comfy and warm, and it's just got these like blue and white striped details, and then the buttons are just like these metal buttons that are really, really cute, um, and it's kind of just got like some nice detailing through here. It's just a really pretty cardigan. And I got this in a safe large and it was $24.80. And I just wore um, an Abercrombie and Fitch like um, just like the regular tank tops underneath it in navy blue. And it was really cute and comfy and warm. And I think it's going to be like my new fall staple outfit. But the next thing I got was The Lion Game. This was $16.99 at my books a million. And um, I love the TV show. And I'm really depressed that it hasn't come back yet. I, I've heard that it's coming back in January, thank goodness. But um, it was really good, so I thought, why not pick up the book and start reading it? And then maybe I'll have a couple of the books done by the time the TV show like starts back up again. So, pretty glad I picked this up. And the very last thing I have, I actually did a whole unboxing video on these, but I doubt that'll end up getting posted because I unboxed them, like, really late at night, and I was seriously, like, you know in class whenever you kind of put your head down, you're like, and you're, like, dozing? That was literally me the entire video. If you guys want a comedy video, I'll put it up, but otherwise, no. I got these from Just Fab. These were, um, 
$39.95, so not bad, especially for a really nice pair of riding boots. And as you can see, they just have these buckle detailings on them. They have a little baby heel, like maybe an inch, if that much. So they're really easy to walk on and stuff. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend walking on them in snow. And then they have these zippers right here to kind of help you get in and out of your boot. It doesn't go all the way up, though. And, um, yeah, I don't know. They're cute. I like them. I haven't worn them yet, but I like them. So, And that's all that I've got. I will be doing a Mac haul really, really soon on the Marilyn Monroe collection, plus a couple of staple things I picked up from Mac. And that's it. Bye, everyone.